How's it going, everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. It's time for James A. We've got five Charizard Chasers and two Celebrations ETBs. Should be a fun rip here. We'll start out with the Shining Fates packs. So we're going to have two in each bundle. So 10 total. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. And then I'll count out these packs right away as well. We will have five Burning Shadows and five Evolutions. Two, four, and five. And Evolutions. Two, four, and five. So that makes up the five Charizard Chasers here for you, James. We're going to start out with 10 Shining Fates, like I said. Good luck. Let's see how we do here. Uh, Q Fant Reverse and Dreadnought. Toad. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in for Almanac if you were able to catch it tonight. I uh, started the stream about 5 o'clock tonight, and it was a really awesome night of Almanac, guys. Uh, like I said, cases 6 through 10 tomorrow are already sold out. So thank you for that crazy support, guys. The spots went so fast. I really can't believe it. I'm really appreciative of all that. Dang, that's pretty fun, Flip. That's pretty fun. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Shinx and Decidueye holographic. Nice. Yeah, I would definitely also be uh, staying awake. Evo is so fun to watch, for sure. Always like when we get to do a booster box here. Got a pretty good amount of it lately. We also got the Kanto Power Boxes in stock, which offer 10 Evolutions packs. So, yeah, good stuff. Blip Puck, or uh, Blip Bug, Blip Bug. Uh, shiny here for you. Not bad, James. Yeah, that would be, uh, so six of them. It would be just under about five grand, yeah code at the back probably about 4500 or something that he paid flip pretty crazy for some modern pokemon i mean evolution's not exactly modern but about five years old so still kind of modern i'd say uh, got an amazing rare here white vettel nice yeah the best option we have uh the most affordable option is the canto canto power boxes like i said you get two promo cards in those and then you get 10 evolutions packs so uh, those run about $200, I believe, on the website. Uh, those are the Kanto Power Boxes. Pretty awesome option. You can pick between either the box that features the Mewtwo and uh, Slowbro promo, or you get the uh, box with the Pidgeot and Dragonite promos. So pretty cool box. Uh, Cramorant V here out of Shining Fates. Yeah, that's the most uh, most affordable way to get Evo packs. Uh, code at the back. Uh, that's fair flip. The big chase still uh, still makes it worth it. But yeah, sealed, like you said, is way more valuable. But you can definitely still justify opening the set considering the PSA 10 uh, holographic Charizard sells for about three grand. Just uh, really, really tough to get PSA 10 like we've kind of been talking about and stuff like that. Eldegoss Reverse, nice. And a Dreadnought, nice. But yeah, you can you can justify it with that. And if you uh if you if you also uh, take into consideration the amount of hits in the set, that's uh that's another really important thing to consider. Exactly, Sean, exactly. Yep. You do get quite a few. Ooh, nice, got a Grimmsnarl VMAX, shiny, very cool. Ooh, nice pack here. Full art trainer behind it. Exactly, though. Exactly. You said it, Flip. Exactly. That's what makes it uh, like a 3% gem rate, I'm pretty sure is what Lane says always. Uh, careless. Full art trainer as well. Nice. Sounds good, James. You know I can get that done right after the Almanac, man. Sounds good. Yeah, you didn't exactly uh, like knock it out of the park on the Almanac, James. Uh, hopefully we can get some better randoms for you tomorrow, man. Not too bad when you did have the fifth pick there in that one case. But yeah, hopefully we can do a bit better for you, man. I uh, really appreciate the support, though. Busted Shield and Sarood. Nick Code. Yeah, Flip. Evolutions is a very interesting one. Very interesting one. And yeah, Sean, that is the, uh, the Charizard that you got, like you said. Yeah, we've thought about it, turn though. We did definitely think about it. It would be a really cool chase for sure. 
Uh, Flap will shiny here. Nice. Nice. Flap will. All right. Keep it going. Galarian Weezing. A code card. Like I said, guys, we do literally one almanac break. And we are literally the coolest channel of all time. Burning Shadows. That's all it took was one almanac break. Uh, really sorry about that, guys, in the chat. Definitely talk to Brad, see if there's any way we can uh, figure that out. That is so strange, yeah. All right, let's keep it going. Burning Shadows here. Uh, knocked out. And Raichu, holographic, pretty cool card there, nice. That's actually a very cool holo out of uh, Burning Shadows. That's what I'm saying, Flip. Literally, literally one almanac and everyone wants to advertise on my channel now. Uh, I am banning that, it's just a different, it was a different bot that came in, Sean. Just a very similar username it looks like. But yeah, I did, I did ban right away. Uh, Meowth Reverse and Tyranitar, or no, uh, Tertinator, Tertinator, nice, rare. And a code at the back, alrighty, couple more Burning Shadows, James. Like I said, man, yeah, hopefully we can grab you a uh, little bit better of a pick tomorrow in Almanac. I really appreciate the support, man. Got Persian and Tangrowth, a code on the back. Alrighty, Burning Shadows. Another Pikachu here at the front of this pack. Very strange. A couple of them in a row. Ooh, we got a hit here coming up. Good luck, man. Butterfree and, ooh, very cool card here. Gardevoir GX. Nice. Pulled one of these uh, one or two streams ago. Very cool card. Gardevoir GX. Nice, James. There you go. And a code there. Alright, last Burning Shadows. Then we're going to have Five evolutions, and we'll follow it up with your two ETBs, man. Thank you for the order, guys. Like I said, still some space if you'd like to grab something on the night. Uh, Duskmore Reverse and Bruxish. Brux-ish. And a coat on the back. Alrighty, five evolutions now. I try, Sean. Sometimes my memory is not as great, but I try. <laughs> Alrighty. Keep going here for you, James. Tangela and a Mewtwo rare. That's the other nice thing about the pack bundles as well. Um, just gives you a little, little sample size of evolution sometimes. So it can be really nice for um, stuff like that. Uh, just kind of like, ooh, nice. We got something coming up, James. Snag some big pick, uh, big hits out of just like a pack or two. Ooh, nice. Got the Misty's Determination full art trainer. Good one. Always take uh, Misty Trainer cards. Very nice. Misty's Determination. Uh, Nidorino and a Code. Uh, evolutions. I guess I have like selective memory, Sean. Kind of like some people have selective hearing, I have selective memory. Remember the things I want to remember. <laughs> Professors Oak Hint and Dugong. Code on the back, which yeah can be useful sometimes, but uh, <laughs> yeah we will we will uh we will do that we will do that Eric. <laughs> uh, Kakuna and Farfetched. A code on the back. Yeah, it's gonna be called Nightbot pretty soon. Alrighty, last evolutions here, James. Then we're going to get into your two elite trainer boxes. Pretty cool uh, Misty's Determination so far out of Evolutions. Uh, reverse Professor's Oak Hint and Doug Trio. And a code on the back. Alrighty. Move all of these cards off to the side. And then we'll start cracking these two Celebrations ETBs. Best of luck, James. Appreciate the orders as always, man. Here we go. Good luck. All right, let's 
stuck there that time. That's nice. Perfect. Got all of our sword and shields there. I uh, got the Greninja. Uh, code there on the back and a pack of sleeves. Yeah, we'll definitely talk to Brad. Um, kind of what the protocol is for going to be for mods on this channel and stuff like that. Um, now there's a couple people that probably be interested. I know Sean as well is often here. A couple other people as well. Nag's usually here. And uh, Turn Low, of course, has a lot of um, familiar familiarity with that as well. Lucky Energy and Grab Locked. Holographic and a code. Alrighty, two darkness of blaze. Keep going for you here, James. Uh, Staravia reverse and a Salamance V. Nice. Salamance. Code on the back. Hey, no problem, Melissa. I got you uh, up next, actually, I believe. Yeah, up next. Uh, it just comes in order of uh, when they're ordered and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll have you going uh, probably about uh, 10 minutes or so, Melissa. Just got to get through the rest of this one and the next one here, uh, ETBs. Code on the back. I think you're right, David. I think you're right. I do remember that as well, right when I started uh, working here. Yeah, definitely flip you as well. Uh, I was replying to your question, so that's why I didn't uh, directly say your name and stuff like that. Single strike energy and bolt hunt, as well as you, Eric. Yeah, I definitely seen you here a lot, man, for sure. All right, vivid voltage. Yeah, I'll talk to Brad about that. I'll see him tomorrow. Uh, Zeb striker reverse and Lucario, and a code on the back. All righty, 10 celebrations for you, James. We still got that next ETB for you as well. Uh, Lunala and a code. Yeah, I hope everyone was able to catch Almanac, guys. That was awesome today. Xerneas and a Zacian. So many, so many big hits, so many great cases throughout the day. Definitely was a good time. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Got some awesome cards. Garchomp, level X. Champion Garchomp. All right, nice. Uh, full art Pikachu there on the back for you, James. Yeah, Melissa got you coming up next. Birthday Pikachu, nice. Birthday Pikachu. And uh, Professor's Research on the back as well. Nice. Code on the back there. Good stuff. A hollow pack there. Admin Zamazenta V and a code. Yeah, still a lot of uh, really big hits left in the uh, final five cases sitting over there as well. So that is uh, <laughs> that is going to be awesome. Dialga and a full R Pikachu. Can't wait to see uh, what we can all hit tomorrow. Get some of this dust out of here quick, guys. Keep going. Yeah, Eric, that was uh, that was kind of what I was predicting, that once we kind of got into the first case or two, um, the next ones were going to kind of sell really fast. Um, definitely understandable, though, Eric. It is our first uh, first run at the gaming almanac stuff and stuff like that, man. You definitely got to gotta see if it's something for you. So I uh, do understand that for sure. That's how I would be as well, Eric. I'd want to kind of give it a check and see, see uh, if... Uh, it's something for me or not. But yeah, we'll have plenty more almanacs in the future, Eric. I know, David, it is, man. Crazy stuff. 
Uh, Simon Sensor and a code. Yeah, alrighty. Last celebration DTB here. Yeah, that's what I mean, David. Crazy. A lot of really cool cards left. Uh, we did hit the first edition uh, PSA 8 Lugia today, though. That was awesome, man. Congrats again. Kendall got that one today. Congrats to you, Kendall. That was crazy, man. Totally got me uh, caught off guard. <laughs> Such an awesome card. And uh, like I said, we really tried to work hard to get that one to uh, work in the almanac, and it did. A pretty expensive card, of course. A code at the back. Or, uh, at the back of the box there. Alrighty, James. Last ETV, man. Appreciate the order. Let's find you something awesome in this one. Good luck here. And like I said, man, best of luck tomorrow in the Almanac. Hopefully we can grab you some better spots on the random. Uh, Swana and Amphros. And a coat at the back. Yeah, David, you had a really nice... I think you had pick seven, if I remember right, David. Um, had a really nice case to have pick seven. There were some great cards still left for you at seven. So, good stuff for you, man. Congrats. Uh, Lunatone Reverse and Dark Cry. Holographic, nice. And then uh, our other good friend, Turnlow, who's a big supporter of the channel, he was able to get the first pick in his case. And uh, yeah, his case was just loaded with so many tough choices. So, very cool to see that. A uh, Houndor and a Rapid Strike Urshifu be nice. Yeah, we really try our hardest on the Almanac to make it great for you guys. Nice Rapid Strike Urshifu. And a code. Alrighty, Chilling Rain and then Vivid Voltage right after this. Keep it going. Uh, cast Form Reverse and Dark Trio. Code on the back. Yeah, that's what I mean, David. That's such a cool card, man. Such a cool card. Yeah, turn low. I, I would not have wanted to be in your position, turn low. Honestly, that was such a tough pick. I would have been very stuck between the two that you were stuck between. The first edition Blastoise, uh, PSA 3, and the, the um, base set unlimited Charizard 8.5 uh, back at grade. That would have been such a tough decision. I would have almost rather have been like two, so... <laughs> Could have someone make it for me but yeah good stuff man glad everyone was enjoying the product tonight oh nice got the tapu lele gx good hit james one in 250 packs on these i'm not sure if you've got one yet but very rare hit uh, if you do have one i'm sure someone would love uh love to get this one this is a very very tough hit one in 250 packs rumored to be a code on the back. Yeah, man. Sounds like, uh, yeah, Brad was texting me turn low saying you were just having a blast, man. Really enjoying uh, the whole, like I said, it's fun from when we start the random at the start all the way till the end. Uh, Team Magnus Groudon and a code. I, get, I definitely get what you're saying, David. I definitely get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, that was still a very cool one. If I remember right, that was the uh, the Neo 2 uh, Japanese Charizard. Hollow pack there. Uh, PSA 8. Yeah, super fancy looking card. I don't blame you. But I think you did make a good selection for sure. Nice, got the Zekrom now. Full art. First full art in Pokemon. Zekrom. Sweet hit. That's kind of how the original version of the card looked without the uh, hollow speckle, and then they added this nice hollow speckle to it. Very cool. Good stuff there for you, James. Pretty solid ETB. None of the massive hits, but uh, definitely some more rare cards to pull from the set. That's always fun. Keep working along here. All righty. Nice, got the Imposter Professor Oak here. A couple of them there, actually. Professor Oak on the back. Oh, yeah, Professor's Research featuring Professor Oak on the back. And a code. It's 
yeah, guys, Lane will be back again, hanging out tomorrow when we do the next Almanac. Like I said, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, guys. All sold out already, so thank you for that. Awesome stuff there, guys. Selling it out. Flying Pikachu and a code. Keep grinding through these celebrations packs for you, James. Looking for a big hit, man. Oh, nice. Got another rare one here. Gardevoir EX, Delta Species. Definitely have to grab a... You had to have grabbed one of these cards that you don't have yet, James. Definitely some rare ones, man. Gardevoir EX, Delta Species. Awesome hit. Full art, Pikachu, and a code. Two to go. All right. Kyogre and a Serping Pikachu VMAX. Nice. Code on the back. Good stuff there on the Surfing Pikachu VMAX. Alrighty, one to go. Thank you, James, for the order. Like I said, man, best of luck to you tomorrow on the Almanac randoms and stuff like that. Hopefully we can grab you a top slot or something like that. Nice! Golden Mew! That's another thing we can grab you right now, man. A Golden Mew. Beautiful end to this break. Last pack magic. Just a code there on the back. But a Golden Mew, James. Awesome hit. There you go. Last pack magic for you, James. Congrats on the Golden Mew. I'll definitely mag this. Uh, definitely my favorite looking card in this set. So beautiful. Uh, pretty good value to it as well, man. Nice card. I will definitely mag it for you. Like I said, thank you, James, for getting in on the break. Uh, Going to get these hits sent right out to you, man. Thank you. Uh, best of luck tomorrow.